so long. Yoni!
Charlie Goldberg here alongside Aaron Hook. And Aaron, we've seen quite the match so far. 1-1 mm -hmm. here as we open up the second half. Charlie, United States and Mexico. Matt Levy scoring on the side of the Mexicans at the tail end of that first half. And um, for the United States, they got an early goal from Yaniv Bazzini. And To where we started, um, back to square one here with a 1-1 one -one draw, and look, we, you know, have discussed that both of these teams fared very well um, in the most previous games, the 21st Maccabi last year in Israel. Mexico went undefeated in their group play, 3-0. The United States losing the gold medal game to Uruguay, so they came away with the silver medal. So both these teams, I think, have a little bit to prove here in Buenos Aires, Charlie, as uh, we open up the 2023 games here in the open men's soccer division. And you mentioned the United States has lost to Uruguay and what's funny about this is the fact that the U.S.'s next game is against Uruguay and they said that this game is actually a warm-up for them. Well I guess Mexico may have surprised them. The score is one to one. Yeah and there were some um, kind of tensions flaring uh, earlier in this match throughout the first half. Some physical play from both sides. We did uh, we did see a yellow card given out um, to the United States as well. And so, obviously, no love lost between these two teams right now. First day, first game for both teams. They want to come out swinging, and they certainly have. And here we go. Mexico with a chance. But a good defense play there by the United States. They were so close to getting that goal in. They were right in the box, right in territory. The United States, though, deflects it. Mexico now playing a game of passes. Yeah, and you know, for the United States, obviously giving up that goal towards the end of the half, Charlie, is something that, you know, we, we were talking about um, them having that short memory, obviously, from last year, not coming away with the goal. Finishing with the silver, obviously, an admirable result. However, having a short memory from last year and an even shorter term memory from that first half, giving up that late goal um, to get us here to 1-1. They've got to put that behind us. And they've got a pretty good coach, Charlie, uh, to help them do that. Preston Goldfarb uh, is, is one of the most um, decorated coaches, if not the most decorated here at the, the Maccabi Games you know, as a whole, any division, any sport, any team. Yeah, he is the winningest coach in Maccabi history. So I feel like being on <laughs> Coach Preston Goldfarb's team is really not being under amount of pressure, but it's really under a high expectation with having a coach of that caliber. Absolutely. Stefan Elias steps up to Mexico as now the United States took the ball and brought it back to square one. A long boot down the field. And David Abador. Yeah. Fights near the sideline. Some contact that time as um, he kind of crashed into Jack Ross of Mexico that time, and he goes down. So he heard the whistle, no card given out, just be a free kick here for the Mexicans near that corner flag. Yeah, and Aaron, uh, seeing this game so far, something I've noticed is the fact that it's been so physical. A lot of collisions, a lot of slide tackles, and a lot of contact with man on man while trying to get the ball. Why do you think that is? Yeah, well, I, again, both these teams, you know, it's been a long uh, couple of days here since arriving in Buenos Aires, you know, with practices going on yesterday. I think both teams are just kind of fired up, Charlie. They have that kind of built up um, adrenaline and then they want to come out here in this first game and make a statement. And certainly seen that from both sides playing very, very physical. Exactly, it is the first day of the Macabia. The Pan Am Games here in beautiful Buenos Aires, Argentina, as tonight will be opening ceremony. Simply an incredible event, which will be capping off a great day of action. And Charlie, you were there last year in Israel. It was one of the most special moments of my life. Walking out with Team USA on that stadium stage is massive. And anybody who's even able to watch these ceremonies are in for a real treat. But let's get back to this game, which is also a treat, as Mexico now, near the box, but the United States had a two-on-one there. 
And oh man. Jack Beer though, with the one touch. Leon now, back in territory. And a long boot, up and over our heads. Almost took out our equipment there. So we're probably about 10 feet away from the near touch line as um, we're gonna have David Ryak throw it in here for Mexico. I mean, pretty much, again, a few feet in front of us. So we gotta be careful, Charlie. We gotta have our heads up. Absolutely, this is not cheap equipment we're using. Mexico now. Brings it back to Daba, the goalkeeper. And the United States now stalking Mexico on the field. And a header there. Jack Beer now had control. And here's some of that aggressiveness I've been talking about earlier. You just saw Alec Weiss with a couple of shoves there as he sprints towards the ball. And a long boot. And it's way over the goal. Yeah, up and above the crossbar there um, with the shot coming in. But the Mexicans, Charlie, have dominated possession here to open up the second half. The United States really hasn't had much of an opportunity to go the other way with it. Um, and, you know, again, in the 1-1 game, it's all about dominating possession and, and generating chances. And so Mexico has done a really nice job of that here so far to start off the second half. Yeah, we started off this one hot with Yoni Sorork, and he made the first goal right off the bat, quintessentially. And then it took Mexico a while, but now they're really back into the swing of things to the point where you just mentioned they're almost in complete control here. Daba, the goalkeeper of Mexico, sends it down the field towards center circle. Headed, though, by the U.S. The U.S., though. Trying to keep it as a clean game. And another long kick there. And oh, man. Yeah, we're going to have some more. Oh, no. And that's in the box for Mexico. And so, depending on the ruling, this could result in a penalty kick for Team Mexico. They've got some of their guys coming out onto the field now and the coaching staff. And that player is down. Yeah, it was our goalkeeper, Benjamin Ziegler. He jumped up to save the ball there from going into the net. Well, he's making, you know, he's making a play on the ball. So I, I think the ruin from the officials here can't be, you know, a penalty opportunity since both guys were going for the ball and Ziegler has the right in the box to go out and, you know, try and punch it away. So again, we, we've got a lot to sort out here with the player down. Absolutely, an unfortunate accident there. Now, with this brief timeout, let's talk about our player to watch, presented by Freedom Mortgage, Freedom to Own Your Dreams, Yoni Sororkin. He already made a goal today. He's making a big statement on the field, and I think he's a player with really a lot to look into. Yeah, Sororkin, you know, he's 29 years old. It's pretty interesting, you know, when you look at the Open Division, Charlie, you have a lot of guys just coming out of college. You have guys who have played professionally for a number of years. It's really the most, I think, diverse um, you know, age group or, or division um, here at the Maccabi Games because you have a lot of guys with different backgrounds and a lot of guys at different stages in their career. And for Sorokin, you know, he was there last year with the U.S. team in Israel when they won the silver medal. Um, he's a guy who played five seasons of, of D1 soccer in the U.S., four at UCF, Central Florida, and then transferred out west to UCLA for his final year uh, as a grad student. And last year in the Dames, he had five goals for Team USA. That was second in the Open Division. So, He's looking to, um, you know, continue that here, and I actually believe the goal um, for the United States um, was scored by Yaniv Bazzini, and so Bazzini got them on the board. So Rotin, perhaps looking to put the U.S. ahead with his next one. Max Levy, the man who was just involved in a collision course with Benjamin Ziegler, now back up on his two feet. Quick stop to the action here in Argentina. It's scorching hot outside. 
Yeah, it is. Mid-80s today, Charlie, and pretty much, you know, the entire week, uh, that's been the forecast. We're a little overcast today, but the next few days should be nice and sunny, and obviously with the heat, and soccer, you know, is a sport where you see the heat essentially coming to play um, in terms of injuries with, you know, players cramping up, and obviously, you know, we'll have some water breaks, I assume, here during the second half for these guys. Because in these conditions, it's pretty tough to just play 45 minutes straight the whole way through. And it, I believe they are going to set up a penalty opportunity here for Mexico. So this is huge here in a 1-1 game. A massive opportunity for Mexico. The score is tied and the clock continues to tick on forward. And this penalty kick could definitely be a game changer. Mexico in the white. United States in the blue. And it looks like we're going to be seeing that penalty soon as Max Levy marches off the field. We're glad nobody is seriously hurt here. To take the kick, it looks like it's going to be Benjamin Ruzanski from Mexico. And oh, there it is, the goal from Mexico. And they'll go ahead 2-1 here, Charlie. A huge goal from Mexico at this point as Levy comes off the field and he's gonna celebrate with his teammates here. Looks like he's just gonna come right back into the game when he can. Mexico but took that opportunity and they just ran with it. Massive goal there by Mexico. Score is now two to one. The United States, though, still have their head in this game. It's not quite close to over yet, as this one rolls on. Yeah, well, now the U.S. playing from behind, Charlie. You know, we talked about Mexico having the domination of possession in this second half. The United States has to find a way to turn that around and quickly. They've got to generate some opportunities as, again, Mexico moving towards the bots very, very quickly. Not what we want to see. U.S. on defense in the blue. David Abador clears it. Sends it out of bounds. Jake Rosansky yeah, picks it up. Rosansky is a guy who, you know, we really want to feature as well, Charlie. He... Um, Received last, a big honor last yeah, night. Last night at the U.S. Embassy, he was named uh, one of the flag bearers for the United States team later tonight um, at the opening ceremony. We were talking about that earlier, and you've obviously been to an opening ceremony. You know how big of an honor that is uh, for Jake. Absolutely. Jake, a pro soccer player, 24 years of age, and he's already making huge waves here. And he's going to continue to help his team out in this one. And oh, speaking of Jake, he just got tripped there. But Jack Beer sends the ball out of bounds past the sideline on our side. It looks like we're going to have Alec Weiss of the United States throw it in. The United States now. Throwing it in past the halfway line. And Alec Weiss sends it in. Header, though, by Mexico. Weiss, though, finds the ball. Tried to get the first touch, but didn't quite get all of it. And Ryan Hepp, though, gets the rebound, sends it to the goalkeeper, who boots it long down the field. Beautiful header there by the United States. And you could really see the sense of urgency right now in the U.S.'s game plan now that the score is 2-1. to one, The U.S. really playing at a whole new level of aggression and speed. Yoni, Sororkin, sprints with the ball. Gets tripped, though, by Mexico, and a flag is raised by the ref. Yeah, and again, don't think it's going to be any sort of a book in here. A referee... To separate the two guys and the United States looks like they'll have a free kick on that far side, Charlie. It's a good spot for him. 
not too far outside the box. They're going to load him up. This could be massive for the U.S. And again, especially since this has really been their lone opportunity so far in this second half. The United States now sends the ball up and out. Sororkin tried to get it, ball out of bounds. There was a collision there. Sororkin just missing the ball. And two other players went for it, didn't quite get all of it. Mexico will have the ball on offense. Unbelievable. But they're starting off all the way from the back end of the field. The United States won the Maccabi gold medals in Israel in 2013 and 17. They have a lot to prove in this year's Pan Am Games in Argentina. As David Abador with the header. And now Max Levy, the man who was taken out with injury, now back on the field making a statement as Mika is about to throw it in. Mexico's Mika throws it in, and it's sent out of bounds again. <laughs> some shoving again. These extracurriculars between these two teams, we saw them really get up in each other's faces earlier in that first half. So uh, I think when the final whistle blows, Charlie, they might all be friendly, but until then, you know, again, no love lost. They're gonna get up in each other's noses and uh, try to make the statement. Very powerful throw in as Sam Friedman got possession of it. Jake Rosansky sends the ball down the field on the far side and Rosansky trips, but Yoni Sororkin with the slide tackle-esque kick. Ball sent past the sideline on the far side. Back in, ball in play. Mexico, now on offense. But a stop there by Zarmi. Sam Friedman has the ball in possession. Sends it to Stefan Elias, back to Friedman. And a sliding kick there. Ball sent out of bounds on the near side. Stefan Elias to throw it in. Sorokin has the ball, sprints with it. So Mexico. Seemingly tried to cross it there, but it was intercepted by David Abador of the U.S., who sent it to Benjamin Ziegler, the goalkeeper who sent it down the field. Big overhead kick there by Mexico. And here we go. Mexico looks to be in open range here. Max Levy with the ball, and there it is. Another goal for Mexico. Max Levy with his second of the day. And hey. Levy, after coming off the they pitch. They can't go on the field. They cannot go on the field. What are you doing? And there's seemingly some controversy on the play. Coach Goldfarb uh, upset with the official, but for Max Levy, I mean, to have him come off the pitch, Charlie, with that injury earlier, and then to get back out there and bury his second is got to feel really good right now. Max Levy with the header, made the first goal for Mexico to tie things up one to one. He then got injured, leading to Mexico having a penalty kick, making their second goal. And then he just made the third goal, really the player of Mexico in this one. And now for the US, Charlie, I mean, they are, uh, they're, they're running out of time. Uh, at this point, down two goals, um, you know, you figure about 25 minutes left in the game or so. and. It, it, it's really, you know, the clock is not their friend at all at this point. When you were down by one goal, you know, you realize that all you needed was a chance or two. But now, down by two goals, you've got to generate a ton of opportunities here. 
before the final whistle blows. Two 45 minute halves, 90 minutes overall in play here in Buenos Aires, Argentina for this one. The throw in from Mika of Mexico, who sends it to the US, who now take possession. And Yoni Sorokin had the ball, but the play is stopped there. Yeah, he got tripped up. And the referee does have a card out. Referee does have that yellow card in his palm. Let's see if he'll, let's see if he'll give it. And yep, he's gonna put it in. So be against Mexico. Or perhaps, no, he didn't raise it. So I, I, I think he's keeping that in his back pocket. Next one, perhaps, Charlie, again, in this physical game, could see Mexico be handed that yellow card. Kind of a lenient warning there mm -hmm. for the US, but not quite the flag that would be sent on the play. Yoni Sorokin sent it down the field. And it looks like the U.S. sends it down again. Mexico, header. And a block there by the U.S. Sam Friedman with the touch. Gives it to Rosansky. Rosansky on the attack. Tries to get it through. And now Zarmi from behind the center circle sends it back to Jake. Well, Mexico is all over the U.S. right now, really giving them absolutely zero breathing room to try and set anything up. Really playing in an aggressive style of defense. And the U.S. continuously, Charlie, having to reset again with the clock against them. That's not what you want. The U.S. now. And Bazzini just behind the penalty area. But the big boot sends things out of the way for U.S. on offense. Yoni Sorokin. A brief stop on the action. And there is for this the one. there is the yellow card. We said next time there was some contact that may be given out, and the referee on that far side is gonna put it in the butt there. And so the US will have a free kick. In favor of the US, that yellow card now gives the US the opportunity to get that free kick in. Looks like Rosansky's gonna take it. Um, Jake Rosansky. You have Jack Beer lined up next to him as well. Could see a fate from Rosansky. Nope, he's gonna put it in. Rosansky sends it up, and past the end line goes the ball. The clock continues to tick on down here, Aaron. What could the U.S. do to stay in this thing? Yeah, I mean, uh, again, you know, Mexico is is playing very, very aggressive defensively. And for a team up by two goals, I, I honestly like that out of them. I mean, they're not taking their foot off the gas pedal. And so the U.S., I, I think, is uh, we're going to have a, a brief water break here um, as we were just past the halfway point of this second half. You know, down by two goals, I think the U.S. has got to kind of embrace that physical style of play that we saw in the first half that got them the first goal um, of the game, Charlie. And so... Uh, you know, you, you have the subs for a reason, right? Whether that means, you know, a, a guy playing more physical and um, perhaps Coach Goldfarb will, will utilize his bench a, a bit more the rest of the way. Um, we'll have to see. But down by two goals again. The United States is running out of time, and Mexico, a very, very aggressive team, knows that. Um, so they're not giving them any breathing room. So I think settling down a little bit in terms of not making any mistakes, but at the same time realizing that you know, you might have to make a sacrifice individually here for your team down by a couple of goals to try and get back into this thing. And if there's any coach you could rely on to get the U.S. back into the swing of things here, it's got to be Coach Goldfarb. I mean, his coaching led to his teams in the 2013 and 17 Maccabi as being gold medal champions, the first back-to-back -back in the 80-year-plus historic <laughs> history of the Maccabi. -a. That's absolutely incredible, Charlie. Um, I mean, you know, Coach Goldfarb, has an extensive background coaching. Um, you know, he hails from 
Alabama, and he actually originally went to UAB uh, on a basketball scholarship. And so, you know, he's certainly uh, made his mark here on, on, on the world of soccer, on the world of football. And um, it, it's pretty interesting to see his tactics. He's a guy who is not a, a afraid to voice his opinion to the officials, but, you know, he looks cool, calm, and collected right now in that chair. That water break, however, Charlie, I think was an opportunity for him to talk to his team, get them back on the same page here for these final 20 minutes or so. And it looks like Mexico and their goalie, Daba, will be sending things on in. Boot there from Mexico. Header intercepted by the United States. And you saw a trip there, but it looks like ball now out of play. And again, the U.S. talking to the officials here. I think they just got to... I think they just got to keep on playing. I, I think at this point, the referees realize that it's a physical game. Um, and you're not going to be happy with really most of the calls the rest of the way. But I, I think... working on the attack. A close one there, mm -hmm. as you were saying, Aaron. Yeah, no, I mean, off that off that free kick, it was a good opportunity. Sorokin able to leap up, get his head on it. So now the U.S. is at least... Applying some pressure, they have to continue to do that, though. Moidaba, the goalkeeper, who has done a more than stellar and admirable job here representing Mexico, brings it to the far side of the field. And now look at this. David Abador brings things on down. Less than 10 minutes to go here in the final playing time of this one. And that's Ryan Hebb. Elias sends things on in. Bazzini now gets possession. And once again, it looks like they're going to have Elias throw it on in. The throw from Elias. U.S. gets a first touch. And a long, massive boot. But the ball's still in play. Elias now in control. A close attempt there. But no goal yet. We have a vault. And oh, man. Mexico so close to a goal. But... Benjamin Ziegler, what a save there. An incredible save. Now look at this. Mexico so close there, but Ziegler with a tremendous slide tackle, really a game-saving slide tackle in this one. The ball now. Goes just out of the sideline. And we come to another temporary stop here. Hey, but again, clock's going to continue to tick. We've got about 15 minutes remaining, Charlie. U.S. Again, running out of time as Mexico. Any substitution off here. As we wait for the uh, throw in. It's Daston Heroes, by the way. We might, can't say anything bad. Ball sent up. Jake Rosansky got the touch. And that was Levy who came off a moment ago from Mexico. So his two goals today, two of the three for the Mexicans, obviously having them in a great position right now, up three to one. Tremendous atmosphere here in Maccabiya. We're just getting things started for a week long of tremendous games. We're here at uh, the Seesaw Hub. It's about an hour outside of downtown Buenos Aires. And here we go. The U.S. sent things out. 
from Mexico now. Tries to gain possession, but Ryan Heap with the save. Hep with the save. I'm so excited. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about at this point. <laughs> I like that. And Jake Rosansky, a very aggressive shove there, but it looks like things worked out for him. As now, the United States were momentarily on the attack, but Sam Freeman keep things alive there. Jack Beer got that one touch, controlled it for a momentary second, but the ball sent out of bounds. And Moy Daba, the goalkeep of Mexico, who has done a more than stellar job today, sends things towards the center circle. But a long boot there by Mexico. Headed by David Abador. Headed by both men there from the U.S. and Mexico. And it looks like that may have not ended up too well. We got a couple of guys down, one for the U.S. and one for Mexico. Collision there, both men jockeying for position. Yeah, it looked like it was Nadav's army who was down for the U.S. He's back up to his feet, and the player on the side of Mexico getting stretched out right now. How important is stretching in a game like soccer? <laughs> well, I wasn't much of a soccer player, but I know in, in just about any sport, Charlie, obviously important to keep loose. But again, when you talk about soccer, especially the conditions these guys are playing in, you don't want to cramp up because of the heat. So staying loose, again, that's why we have the water braids. And, um, you know, being able to stay loose and being able to stretch out your muscles is, is going to reduce the chance um, of cramping up and, again, letting the heat get to you. So very, very important, I, I would say. That's a long way to answer your question. but And the U.S. doing anything in their power not to lose as the ball sent towards center circle. And Bazzini had momentary possession, but it looked like there might have been a trip there on behalf of Mexico towards the U.S. Uh, that's and the, the red flag, the red card. Yeah, that's the second yellow. Second yellow for Leon Blinder there for Mexico, and so he'll head off as he's been ejected with the red card. And that changes things dramatically for the game. Yep, as now it's U.S. with a one-player advantage. They're going 10 on, 10 on 9 if you exclude the goalies. And so now the United States down two goals. Charlie really getting into crunch time. This is where you need to generate chances. You have the one-man advantage. And here we go. The U.S. had the chance, but no water in the pool there. It was a great play by Daba. It goal to slide over and get in front of that one. And here we go. The U.S. near the penalty mark. Jake Rosansky makes contact. And another collision there. But the ball still in play. Stephen Elias, Stephen Elias kicks it. It goes out of bounds. Yeah, this is going to wind up in a, a corner kick for the United States on that far side. This is a great chance with this set piece again. Down 3-1, you really got to find something here. This cannot be a wasted opportunity for USA. Things are getting more and more exciting here. The formation currently is in favor of the United States. As one man was ejected from Mexico, US has 11, including the goalkeepers on the field. Compared to Mexico's 10. The clock is still ticking and ticking and ticking though, and it looks like things could be really close when it gets to the bottom of this one. U.S. Yeah. And, and you wonder at, at what point will Coach Goldfarb really kind of, I, I think, bring this back line up for the United States to go out or, or go on an all-out attack type of um, 
you know, strategy, Charlie, because again, down by two goals, you, you gotta find something quick here. You really do. Past the halfway line, Jake Rosansky looked for the cross, didn't get all of it, but Sam Friedman now on the offensive. Yoni, Sororkin. Sends it to Bazzini, the man who scored the first goal in this one. Ball sent out of bounds. Have a quick throw in here. Clock continues to wind down. From the corner, the boot, the U.S. receives it. And here we go, it's up, and a save by Moy Daba on Mexico. What a save there. He leaped in the air, smacked it with one hand. What athleticism, and that could have really changed the complexion of the game. Yeah, it was a deflection right in front off the rebound. The U.S. with a chance right in front of net, and Daba with a great save like you said, Charlie. And here we go again, the United States on the attack, the header, but out of bounds there. Yeah, up and over the crossbar again. U.S. able to get ahead on it, just can't direct it, um, you know, to where it would give Daba any trouble. And again, clock continues to wind here as we get inside these final 10 minutes now. Moy Daba, a sleeper pick for MVP on this one. <laughs> yeah, well, he gave up that first goal, Charlie, to go down one nil, and ever since then he's been pretty, pretty good in goal for Mexico. And uh oh. The ball. Bazzini, now in possession. Gets tripped though, by two men on Mexico. A quick state of confusion for the United States. Speaking to the referee is Bazzini and it looks like no card will be pulled. And now, from the end line, Moidaba looks to once again kick it out. Long boot. And here we go. Sorokin sends it. To Hansky, Rohansky, who gets shoved there. Yeah, he got tripped up on that far side. And here we go. Perhaps one of the most important moments we're going to see throughout this entire match is the U.S. on the attack, a chance, but blocked again by Moy Daba. Yeah, well, that was an easy one for him. Uh, you know, just the deflection off the header ball kind of got, you know, pin pong balled around that time in front, and all he had to do was drop to his knees. Powerful header there from the midfield. I said pin pong balls, I meant pinball. You know, I kind of bounces back and forth. Yeah. I just both work. And I'll tell you what else is gonna work. Perhaps this attempt at a goal. Elias kicks it, but it just goes over. Again, it'll be a corner for the US. We once again thank you guys for tuning in and we thank you to our sponsors. And that is Campus Apartments, Campus Apartments, the student experience is built here. Ball sent in. And it's a sprinting contest to gain possession. As Ryan Hepp went for it. And now, David Abador sends it to Rosansky, who's now sprinting. He's dribbling. He's circling. And, well, he almost got shoved there. And he's still fighting for the ball. <laughs> Rosansky's down right now, and he's got uh, 
gentleman man on top of him and Coach Dolfarb right now not very happy. Okay. Telling the uh, the line official that uh, he's just about done here. Almost a clear cut shove there. But Rosansky, the tenacity of this athlete still fighting and jockeying for the ball. Now the goalkeeper from Mexico brings it into United States territory. And uh oh, dribbling the ball. But the ball sent up high in the sky, headed by Sam Friedman. We got four minutes left in this one. Uh, I think no. I think we're gonna have four minutes of stoppage time. I believe. Yeah, it's it's been quite the physical second half. Almost a rugby matchup we're seeing here. These two teams really putting it all on the line. A lot of shoving, a lot of collisions, a lot of cards being played. Stop it. And here we go, Jake Rosansky kicks it up. So you're right, Charlie, we've got four minutes left to go of the 45, and the official has kept the stoppage time a bit confidential, but I believe I do know the number. It will be revealed soon <laughs> when I can. Into the 42nd minute here of the second half, so the U.S. Uh, down by two goals, Charlie, barring a miracle. I think they just might be out of time. Well, it's not over just yet. Anything could happen here in the Maccabi. Ball sent past center circle. Elias kicks it on down, but Mexico gets it. And Yoni Sorokin went for the cross, tried to find... Ziarno, but he didn't quite get all of it. Rosansky watches on as Jack Beer sends it to Bazzini. Bazzini with a shot over the goal it went. Yeah, unfortunate there for the U.S. Bazzini with a nice look. That one just a little bit high. It's a good opportunity though, and again, they've just not been able to make good on him here, and it's frustrating for the U.S. because you have had some quality chances in this second half, and they still trail by two goals. Well, this is the only, the first game of a week long of competition for the U.S., so I'm sure whatever. Mm -hmm. And they've got uh, the host country, Argentina, twice over their next three games. Absolutely, and I'm sure whatever they see as a weakness coming out of this one, Coach Preston Goldfarb will really instill into their playing skits and into their minds what is right and what is wrong. Ball sent past the halfway line. As the United States now. Kicks the ball past center circle. Friedman sprinted and the U.S. still in possession. Sorokin sends it on down. Zarmi. Mexico now dribbles it forward on the attack. Going towards the net. Here we go and Benjamin Ziegler with the save. All right, and now the fourth official has put the three up in the air, so that's gonna mean, oh no, I think he's got four. Clock I was continues to tick down. So Charlie, we've now entered stoppage time, so we've got four minutes here that they've added on here, plus the, uh, the full 45. Yoni Sorokin sends it. Here we go, oh. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a good idea there. Um, for, for Josh Zerano, however, just the touch, not where you want it as it goes way wide.
Mexico now in a very comfortable position as the ball sent long over the halfway circle. We are now in stoppage time. The clock continues to wind on down in the opening matchup for the United States and Mexico as well in this year's Pan Am Maccabi Games. Sorokin sends it on down. And that was Jake Rosansky who saw a potential opportunity but couldn't find any players there. Rosansky to Friedman who sends it on back to Abador. Back to Sorokin, who now sees an open lane. Sorokin sends the ball. The ball kicked by the United States. Past the penalty mark. But the ball looks like it's just going to roll out on the sideline. Yeah, now you hear Coach Dolfarb over to our right saying, everybody up. So here you go. You're going to have all 10 guys for the U.S. try and get inside the box and made something happen here as there's just a couple minutes left in this one. And remember, the U.S. still has that formation advantage after one of Mexico's players was ejected. The U.S. went for a momentary header, didn't quite get all of it. And it looks like there's a man down for Mexico. <laughs> it's just uh... it's a tiring sport, Aaron. <laughs> it's, near to the, it's near to the break there, I think. I couldn't certainly do it. <laughs> At least not a, nearly as close to the caliber as these athletes. Like that one, Moidaba, who sends it far. Sorokin finds Hep. who sends it on down. The U.S. continues to march on forward, closer and closer to the box. Sam Friedman, back to Yoni. And the U.S. now strategizing the ball, sent close to the goal line, but nothing there. That'll do it. And that will do it here. Mexico, three. United States, one. Mexico is now 1-0 and oh in this year's Pan Am Maccabi Games to the U.S. 0-1. Oh but there's still a week long left of competition. Anything could happen here in the Maccabi A. Yeah, and obviously a, a disappointing result for Coach Joel Farm and his guys. Um, you know, they got the the opening goal, Charlie, one up, one nil, but Mexico, obviously, I, I think that penalty in the second half really kind of changed the the course and, and the tide of this one because, you know, you, you give up a, a goal like that in such a deflating way on a penalty to go down 2-1, and then Matt Levy, after he was injured, comes back into the game, makes it 3-1, just a resilient effort by Mexico here today as they take the opener for both of these teams here in Buenos Aires at the CISAB. Uh, we're just across the way from the clubhouse. These guys will go eat some lunch and uh, fuel up and, and, and get ready um, for, for the rest of their week. Um, you know, for I'm team... sensing chicken on the menu, Aaron. <laughs> well, I, think, I, think, I think if we if we could take a hint, I, I, I think you're going to be right, Charlie. But um, yeah, I, I think, you know, for you know the United States. I think you saw some good, especially in that second half. You know, after really the first few minutes, they really couldn't do much of anything offensively. They started to generate chances. They started to really uh, pit things up. Um, just really unlucky. Just some unfortunate uh, bounces for the U.S. here in this one. Uh, and so I've got full confidence that they can come out uh, in their next one and and um, you know get into the win column. Well, our player of the game, brought to you by Freedom Mortgage, Freedom to Own Your Dreams, certainly is Max Levy. Absolutely. The man scored not one, but two goals. And you could even say he had the assist 
when it came to the third goal scored by Mexico as he was the one who was involved in that collision leading to them getting the penalty kick. And that's a great point, Charlie. Yes, yeah, so he pretty much had a hand in all three goals here today uh, for Team Mexico. And so, yes, absolutely, Matt Levy, our player of the game presented by Freedom Mortgage. All right, and that will do it live here from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Mexico, three to the United States, one. Mexico will move on with the 1-0 record to the U.S.'s 0-1. Thank you so much for joining us here live from Maccabi USA. Be sure to follow us on all social media platforms. I'm Charlie Goldberg alongside Aaron Hook, and we wish you a very good day here from Argentina.